Alright, so my busy week is over now, and now I can finally focus on the little updates that came out this week. And we got some for Street Fighter V, Mega Man, believe it or not, and Resident Evil. First off, Street Fighter V. Capcom's chairman and CEO has admitted that there have been some issues with the launch. Now, you think? Kenzo Sujimoto has said, Based on what we've learned from the past year of operations, it's best to spend a little more time in development and running a high-quality title that will perform well globally. He later added that some aspects of Street Fighter V needed more polish, such as the lack of content and server issues at launch. Accordingly, we feel it's better to give a little more time to development than before and have made slight adjustments to our portfolio. Now of course this means that updates will be coming out for the game like even years from now and there will be delays and we'll be downloading more gigabytes worth of those updates. I hope you guys have a lot of room saved up if not get an external or an internal hard drive because for PS4 owners you're going to have a lot of room in your hard drive dedicated to Street Fighter V. I personally think that this should have been done way back in February, but what's done is done, and they have to own up to it. And now Capcom has also said that they're having a lot of unannounced titles planned for launch later on this year. And one of them is a new Mega Man game. And I know what you all are thinking. Yay! But it's going to be a mobile title and in a Japanese only market. Because Capcom knows how well Mega Man X did on mobile all those years ago. There were so many complaints, it was completely inferior to the Super NES version. But hey, you want to keep continuing that trend? Go ahead and we'll be pointing down laughing at you Capcom while you struggle on the floor attempting to get back up on your feet. And lastly, Capcom says that they want to let us know that they're listening to us. And it's official that Resident Evil 7 is going to be returning to its survival horror roots. Now we've all heard this before when they talked about Resident Evil 6, and we all know how well that turned out. Streets exploding, so much gunfire. Now how many of you guys have really lost faith in Capcom? and delivering on what they're going to say because we heard this like i said earlier way back before resident evil 6 came out and and you can't really trust them enough for them to really deliver what has been asked for now a former capcom marketing boss says that with resident evil 6 specifically we probably put too much content in there there were comments from consumers that said it felt bloated the Leon missions went really well, and because we did Resident Evil Revelations on 3DS, there was a cry out for us to focus our attention on survival horror. Rather than be too many things to all people, you will find where we go next will likely be more targeted at our core fan base. Thank you, which begs the question, although I'm sure we already know the answer to it, why have you not been targeting your core fan base? He goes on to say, a lot is said about the saturation of this zombie post-apocalyptic survival horror, but it is still alive and well. I can't believe they even thought it wasn't, but whatever, going back. He mentions, The Last of Us shows a good direction of what the consumers want. Tomb Raider as well. We spoke to R&D, and they looked at that, and they enjoyed that experience. I think that proves there is still a strong market for that sort of content. So, yes, it seems Capcom's higher-ups who make the final decisions are really, like, close-minded and stubborn to pleasing older fans and trying to focus on newer generations who grew up with Call of Duty and all the other type of games that have fast-paced action. Yes, it sells, but if it's overdone, you will start to lose fans in the series who were once supporting you when you guys first started it. At this point in time, I want to believe it, but I'll have to see it first to believe it. 
this is Dan, and I have no objections to the open possibilities of Capcom finally listening to us.